Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to Casa Naturals. If you're new on my channel, you're so welcome. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new on my channel, you can click on that red subscribe button and subscribe today to my 100, to my 200, actually, 74 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys for your love and your support. And to all my viewers, I appreciate you guys, you know, for your love and your support. So on this channel, I upload videos every day. I do share cross life lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, how to flow skin without using any toxic ingredients, how to DIY. And sometimes, you know what, we go an extra mile to formulate cosmetic products for your body, for your hair. And I'm also so enthusiastic, you know, about growing our crowns, which our dad gave us. We need to embrace it, love it, and style it. Yes. So now, like, I'm in a challenge of six months protective hairstyle. So I've clicked three months, actually. So these twists actually have lasted a month, as you can see. So like uh, we want to grow our medium natural hair to a certain length. So my goal is to achieve three inches in six months. Because you know what? Hair grows a half an inch every month. Yes, so three inches. So if you're interested in growing out your medium natural hair to a certain length, then make sure that you watch this video until to the end and check out other videos which I've done. I'm going to link them in the description box below. And I had also like uh, promised to be sharing uh, treatments which we'll be doing in as much as we want to grow our medium natural hair to a certain length. So subscribe to our channel. If you want to be seeing more of such videos, then consider subscribing. Yes. So in today's video, like I'm going to show you how to undo your one month protective towel style of twist and how to pre-shampoo with stimulating herbal hair growth oil and um clove oil so friends like uh, in this bottle there is a uh, different oils there is peppermint rosemary there is a uh, clove oil there is a uh, a lot of them like uh so you need also, basically some um, penetrating oil. So of yes, course we are going to use some club and oil and our stimulating herbal hair growth so oil, sure which has coconut oil. It has some peppermint, you know, some aloe, and uh, there's also sage, which promote hair growth. So actually, you will need to heat your oil before applying it to your scalp or to the strands of your hair. So at this point, we are just measuring our oil and uh, combining our stimulating herbal hair growth oil and our clove oil. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. If you want to be seeing more of such videos, then consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that every time I upload, you'll be notified. So in most cases, like pre-shampoo oils have properties that may protect and moisturize your hair potential benefits of you know pre-shampoo oil treatment include increased hair strength reduced dryness of both scalp and hair help with dandruff and um, freeze a few split ends increases blood flow to the scalp which helps promote healthier hair and it will also help to protect your hair as you wash it from damage so at this point, our oils are well combined. So we are just giving it a little shake, as you can see. So that is how it looks like. And uh, you have to make sure that you use penetrating and strengthening oils. So of course, our best in this strengthening oil is uh, coconut oil. You can use other oils like grapeseed oil, olive oil, and quite a number of them. So at this point, you need some water, hot water. So you will need to heat your oil before applying it to your hair. To do this, you place the oil in an applicator bottle before um, or bottle that is safe for, for healthy, you know, heat. The oil, this will actually help. And you have to make sure that the oil is um, not very hot. Yes. So at this point, like... Um, this is how I'm going to undo the twist. Like if you had not um, braided your tip, braided your your scalp or the base, then it will be easier like to undo. So in this case, I had not braided. So like I'll separate at the base like so. So this is a very simple technique that helps. And this actually um, twist is easier to do. 
And this actually, you know, prevents breakage. Like at the end, like you have less breakage because in as much as we want to grow our hair, we don't want our hair to be breaking. So we need to combat that. Yes. So now I'm done and doing the twist so it's time to pre-shampoo so this is how our hair looks like but of course it looks like uh, the twists are still in there you know but they are not yes and i'm happy at this point so now we are going to apply our hot oil pre-shampoo so like it's been um in this beaker for 20 minutes and of course at the end i'm going to sit under a bonnet hair dryer for 30 minutes so heat will actually help all to spread thoroughly your hair evenly gently also help in uh, increasing porosity slightly so that all can move around and under the cuticles more easily and you don't have to blast all like oil with a hot dryer instead wrap your hair with a plastic or plastic bag and put on a warm hat and sit under a bonnet dryer on temperature comfortable to your skin. So pre-shampoo will also strengthen and uh, add shine to your hair. After doing hot oil treatments over time, you begin to see changes in your hair. Your hair will look and feel healthier. You will notice more shine in your tresses, prevent split ends and freeze. Do you feel like your hair is not growing? Try hot oil treatments or pre-shampoo on your hair and you are going to see the change. So pre-shampoo will also help prevent frizz without weighing your hair down. They also help to seal the ends of your hair while in turn preventing split ends. So the treatment will also help you to reduce dryness of both the scalp and hair. It will help with dandruff. It will also reduce frizzy, if you are split ends, it will increase blood flow to the scalp, which can promote healthier hair. And if your hair is dry, brittle, frizzy, color treated, prone to split ends, it will actually be strengthened and it will prevent dryness. Pre-shampoo is also good for hair which is prone to dryness and um, no one wants, you know, brittle and dry hair in, um, in, in any reason, so it is... It is best to do like um, pre-shampoo treatments, even, even like weekly or every two weeks, depending on the preference. So the treatments will help deposit oil into your hair and prevent dryness that can be, that contributes actually to breakage. So many naturals um, suffer from dandruff. So doing... um. This treatment, actually pre-shampoo, your hair can help with dandruff. This infused, uh, or actually, this oil actually is, is infused with peppermint, which is perfect for helping dry scalp and dandruff. And also aloe, which soothes the scalp. Peppermint oil has an inflammatory properties and antiseptic properties. It may help to soothe each scalp and promote hair growth. Each strand will be strengthened and shinier after each treatment. This treatment also like increases blood circulation to your scalp there's nothing like a good scalp massage with a pre-shampoo treatment you are going an extra mile to help stimulate your follicles so friends like uh, you need to be doing pre-shampoo every time you wash your before you wash your hair and in most cases i love doing pre-shampoo on um, dry hair because you don't want your oil to be diluted with some water. So this helps actually for the oil to penetrate well. So at this point, we are done. That is how our hair looks, looks like. Yes. So this really helps like your hair to be strengthened, to stay moisturized, so that you reduce frizz, you know, and uh, it, hence, eventually it will promote growth. So I don't miss this step in my regimen. If you've been on this channel, like I always pre-shampoo my hair proud to washing it. So now at this point, I'm going to like put some of the oils on this 
on the edges as you may be aware like i always emphasize on this channel like uh, you need to be taking care of your edges because they are prone to breakage so now at this point we are massaging our scalp this is the time when i massage my scalp yes friends so if you've been on this channel like uh, you understand that i love massaging my scalp with oils of course I only massage my scalp with oils when I know that I'm going to rinse the oil out. But in between washes, I don't put oil on my scalp. In fact, I've done quite a number of videos on um, why you shouldn't put uh, oil on the scalp. I'll link that video in the description box below so that we can check it out. So like our oil is dropping, but of course I didn't go in with a lot. I wasn't heavy handed. You have to make sure that you use not too much oil, but again, not too little because you want your oil to penetrate your hair. So I'm just going in with um, braids which I have unrevealed. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, friends, and I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Yes, comment in the section below. You know, I love interacting. You can even uh, like suggest on videos which we can do. And I'll be glad to do those videos. So at this point, I'm putting on a plastic cup. Or rather, a plastic bag. And I'm going to sit under a bonnet hair dryer. You can even use a blow dryer. That is when you've put on a plastic cup or a plastic bag and then you blow the hot air on um, top of the plastic bag. You don't have to blow your hair before putting on a plastic bag or a plastic cup. So I'm just securing my plastic. Yes, I'm done. And then I'm putting on a bonnet hair dryer. You can even sit under a steamer. Whatever you have, even a blow dryer works very well. So at this point, we've uh, secured it very well. And then I'm setting my blow dryer on medium heat. Yes, you don't want to heat your skin. You know, beauty shouldn't hurt. You need to set it at the temperature which is good for your skin. So friends, at this point, you know, I'm going to sit under a bonnet hair dryer for 30 minutes. Because you want to go for 30 minutes or one hour or two hours or overnight. But don't sit under a bonnet hair dryer for more than, you know, an hour. Yeah, so now, as you may be aware, like I love reading the word of God. So I'm reading The Adventist Home by Ellen G. White. So I was reading on the title, The Portals We Must Watch. And um, on the subtitle, Certain Cannot Enter the Mind Without Our Consent. And I close every avenue to the tempter. So we should present before the people the fact that God has provided that we shall not be tempted above what we are able to bear. But that with every temptation who will make a way of escape. If we live wholly for God, we shall not allow the mind to indulge in selfish imaginings. If there is any way by which Satan can gain access to the mind, he will sow his tears and cause them to grow until they will yield an abundant harvest. In no case can Satan obtain dominion over the thoughts, words, actions, unless we voluntarily open the door and invite him to enter. He will then come in by catching away the good, good seed sown in the heart, make of none effect the truth. So, all who name the name of Christ need to watch and pray and guard the avenues of the soul. For Satan is at work to corrupt and destroy if the least advantage is given him. It is not safe for us to linger to contemplate the advantages to be ripped through yielding to certain suggestions. Sin means dishonor and disaster to every soul that indulges in it, but it is blinding and deceiving in its nature. And it will entice us with flattering presentations if we venture on certain ground. We have no assurance of protection from his power. So far in us lies, we should close every avenue by which the tempter may find access of us. 
We can know in the moment of temptation the terrible consequences which will result from one wrong hasty step. Our only safety is to be yielded by the grace of God every moment and not put out our own spiritual eyesight. So dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can click on that reset button and subscribe today. So I'll proceed to wash. Bye-bye. God bless you.